Hey, what is going on everybody? Dinky Dana here with another Five Nights at Freddy's video. Just today on Steam, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is now officially listed. It's not available for sale quite yet, but there is some cool information. So they have the trailer up here, which we've already seen. They have a new image and then a little description, which they go into a little bit more down here. And it reads, this time the terror has followed you home. In the last chapter of the Five Nights at Freddy's original story, you must once again defend yourself against Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, and even worse things that lurk in the shadows. Playing as a child, whose role is yet unknown, you must safeguard yourself until 6am by watching the doors, as well as warding off unwanted cr creatures that may venture into your closet or onto the bed behind you. Which is so creepy because we already saw the trailer and it looks terrifying. You have only a flashlight to protect yourself. It will scare away things that may be creeping at the far end of the hallways. But be careful and listen. If something is crept too close, then shining lights in its eyes will be your end. And I think that this description is really incredible. I, I'm hoping it's what I wanted for the fourth game. In my... In my video that I went over my theory and what I was kind of hoping for it wasn't so much uh, I don't I don't know if it's actually gonna be what's happening but it really seems like some of these clues are kinda coming together first of all it's confirmed that you're playing as a child almost everybody assumed that because you're so low down to the ground you're in a kids room it seemed like that was gonna be your room and instead of an office that's gonna be kind of your main hub we already saw the purple fan we saw the purple phone and the purple robot that looks like it's the security guards outfit which in my theory video I kind of took that as a as a hint that we may be playing as the purple guy when he was a kid which would be really cool now that's not necessarily given away in this description but it kind of points a little bit toward that just because you're confirmed that you're a kid so I'm really hoping that's how it's gonna work but the other thing that I think there are two things that I think are really interesting in this description the first is in this last chapter of the Five Nights at Freddy's original story. That means there's gonna be more story. Now that could mean the movies, it could mean... I don't know if he's gonna come out with a new series of Five Nights at Freddy's games that would be not tied to the original story. It could just mean the movie, who knows, but it would be cool to see a new a new game coming out. That's a little early to be predict predicting that. Also he's got some images up here, and it is Pretty much everyone was wondering, they saw the plushie behind the other little Freddy animatronic things, and it is there. So we see that on the bed. Also, we got the closet, so here's the purple fan, the purple phone, and the purple robot that's in the, in the security guard outfit. Of course, this terrifying Bonnie jump scare. And then, like they were saying, at the end of the halls, you're going to be shining your flashlights down the halls. And I'll go into this in a second. I think it's going to be really cool. And then the last thing is... Plus Trap, which nobody knows how this is going to tie into the game. Up here it says 58. In the trailer it counted down from 50 to 49. It's going to be some sort of timer that you have to keep an eye on. I'm thinking it might be like the marionette. Not really sure yet. But another thing that I'm really excited for from this description is you have only a flashlight to protect yourself. Now, I'm thinking that you can also close the doors. It's been seen in the trailer that you can close the doors. And that really reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Five Nights at Freddy's 1, one of the reasons it was so scary is the only things you could do are shine two lights and close the doors when something was approached approached your room. And in this one, I think it's going to be along that same, same sign where it says, and be careful and listen. I really hope that he focuses on the audio because that's what made Five Nights at Freddy's 1 so creepy. And I think that's what's going to happen. The room, the bedroom that you sit in looks very similar to the office in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. You have lights that you could shine out the left door and Bonnie's there. You can close the door. Chica's on the right. You could shine your light down there, close the door. And then Foxy's coming from in front of you. So you probably have to shine your flashlight on Foxy like in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. The bed, I have no idea how this is going to work. You're going to have to check behind you. Oh my gosh, it's, you're going to be stressing out so bad. And then it also says, if something is crept too close, then shining lights in its eyes will be your end. So it's almost like when something gets right up on you, you can't shine the light. And it's going to make it that much more creepy when something is lurking around your room and you can't shine the light on it or do anything. So this little description, I think, gives a real good good amount of tips. I mean, it really gives some good background on not only the 
kind of the story of the gameplay, you playing as a child and you brought something home with you, but also it kind of gives you an idea of what the gameplay is going to be like. So I'm getting more and more excited. I'm thinking it's going to be more like Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Cannot wait. I hope it's super suspenseful like Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. Was really excited to see this and uh, just had to post this video, see what you guys think about it. Hopefully, it's Purple Guy as a kid. That'd be amazing. But if you guys have theories or anything like that, things that you think he means by any of this description, leave it down in the comments below, like this video, and come check me out over on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming the game. I have early access, so I'll stream it a little bit early. Scott will probably be sending out the demo. So can't wait to play it. Hope to see you guys on Twitch. Catch you all later, and peace.